Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and to another video. Today, I wanted to share with you five different slow cooker dinner ideas because we currently don't have an oven. We're doing some renovations and our kitchen has been knocked out. So we're in a temporary one for a few months and we're relying heavily on our slow cooker. Every morning we wake up, put the ingredients in so that we do have dinner in the evening for our whole family and we don't get takeaway every single night. So I hope you enjoy these recipes. I would say they're all very easy and family friendly. Our kids eat these recipes as well. So I'll be sure to link them in the description down below along with some other slow cooker videos that I've made in the past. And I'll also timestamp this video so that it's easy to find the recipes if you wanna skip forward to the next one or skip back. Hopefully that will make it easier to find everything. And let me know if you like this video by giving it a thumbs up. That's a really good indicator to me that you like this kind of content. And be sure to subscribe if you're new because I do lots of videos on like different meal inspiration and ideas. Um, but with all that said, let me show you the slow cook recipes we made this week. So tonight for dinner, I'm making chicken stroganoff in the slow cooker. It's actually the first time I've ever made this recipe, but it looks really easy and delicious. You serve it on tagliatelle at the end. So I'll show you how to make it. You need a chopped onion. Uh, we've actually got a ton of mushrooms. This is a whole punnet, but it will obviously cook down to nothing. Got some sour cream, some paprika, a can of condensed chicken soup, and then 150 ml of chicken stock and four breasts of chicken. We're a family of five, so we're each gonna have a breast, but my two younger children will probably share one. Excuse this, I'm actually making a reel for Instagram as well. A few people have said that they would like to see my recipes over there as well, so I'm gonna try today and do that. Uh, but first off, you need to brown the chicken and soften the onions. Luckily, this slow cooker has a browning setting on it, so it's really handy. You don't actually have to get a frying pan dirty and then put it in the slow cooker. You can kind of all do it in this, which is brilliant um, if you're ever like getting a new slow cooker or getting a slow cooker for the first time. So first off, I'm just gonna put a little bit of oil in there and then stick the onions in to soften for a few minutes. Once the onions are soft, you just stick in the whole chicken breasts to brown. Okay, sorry, it's really loud now, but once it's brown, you basically just chuck everything else in. So the chicken stock is going in. A whole can of condensed chicken soup. The mushrooms go in. Then a teaspoon of paprika. And then 100 ml of sour cream. Okay, so I'm gonna voice over this next bit because between the building work and the noise from the slow cooker, it was just way too much. But yes, you put all of the ingredients in and then once you have, you can cook it on low for six hours, which is what I did because I had time. But if you're short on time, you can also cook it on high for three hours. And then when you're ready to eat it, you can serve it on tagliatelle. So just make it as you normally would and then just put it on top. And this was such a delicious dinner. I really, really enjoyed it the kids liked it too but they definitely did not eat the big mushroom chunks they kind of left them to one side but it's a great one and it was very simple to make as well and I'm gonna be putting something into the slow cooker for tonight and it's called campfire stew I actually found this on Instagram <laughs> sorry the building work they're actually drilling up all of the floors I think so it's really noisy today but I actually don't mind when it's noisy because I'm like at least things are happening, like they're doing loads of work out there. Um, but anyway, I'm doing something called campfire stew. I'll link where I found it down below. Someone recommended that I follow someone called Taming Twins on Instagram. She does loads of different slow cooker meals. And this one is with gammon and my kids love gammon. I think because it's so salty, I think they're gonna really like this. It has gammon in it and it also has baked beans. So like they love both of those things. So I'll show you how I do it. I might voice this bit over because that 
is not going to stop. Um, but yeah, let's show you. Yeah, so this is everything that I'm going to need laid out. I've just chopped up two green peppers, an onion, and got everything together. Kiki is just being such a good girl with the noise. She doesn't seem to mind at all. She's just chilling out, eating her chew. What I also love about this recipe is you pretty much just chuck everything into the slow cooker so it's really nice and easy. Yeah, so as I said, you basically just chuck it all in. You don't even have to soften or brown anything. So I've just put in one finely chopped onion and the whole gammon joint two green peppers which I've chopped up, then a can of chopped tomatoes, and two cans of baked beans, which as I said, my kids love. Then I'm also gonna add in a little bit of garlic puree, or you can add fresh garlic if you have it. Then I think two tablespoons of tomato puree, some cumin, I did two teaspoons. Then I'm also gonna add in some smoked paprika. This was really nice because it gives it that like smoky flavor. And I think I did four teaspoons of that. Then I'm also adding in a tiny bit of mild chili powder. Um, but if you don't want spice, you don't have to add it. And then I'm also adding three tablespoons of Liam, per Liam Perrins. <laughs> um, and I'm just gonna kind of give it a mix around and then put it on high for six hours hours I believe yeah you can do six hours on high or eight hours on low so if you're out at work all day you can just leave it on low and then once it is all cooked then you kind of shred the gammon and you have this delicious stew which you can serve on loads of different things some people you can serve it on rice on couscous on cauliflower rice we're having it with wedges tonight but you could also have it on like mashed potato as well and it was really delicious very Moorish um, and yeah I really really liked it we also had some leftovers from this one hi guys so it's the weekend now and today I'm gonna make a very simple six ingredient chicken enchilada recipe in the slow cooker again it's a great one because you just basically chuck everything in and then later on I'll just shred the chicken and you can put it into fajita wraps you can put it into enchiladas or tacos or whatever you really want you can serve it with avocado and lime and cheese cheese and stuff later on but it's just great to like have that base and I'm pretty sure all the kids will like this as well so I'll show you the ingredients that go into it so hopefully you can see this we've got some chicken we've got two chopped onions some chili powder some cumin and garlic seasoning as well and some passata or you can also use tomato sauce as well so this recipe is definitely the easiest in the whole video it's just six ingredients and you basically just chuck it into the slow cooker so in goes two finely chopped onions um, a can of tomato passata or tomato sauce then I'm also adding in two teaspoons of cumin powder I'm adding in a teaspoon of garlic powder this one has herbs in it as well and then you can also add some chili powder if you did want to have a little bit of kick in it and just give that a little stir and then just put in your chicken you can use breasts or you can use thighs either one will work because again you kind of shred it at the end um, and then I'm just gonna cook it on high for three to four hours so I'm gonna put it on for three and a half hours and just kind of like check it but you can also do it on low for six hours and that is literally it it smells delicious and as I said you could use this in fajitas tacos burrito bowls you could add some black beans some rice um, for us tonight we're gonna have little um, ch chicken fajitas so we're gonna add some avocado some cheese some lime juice as well and have like mini ones and that is pretty much it such a good one and just yeah very simple to just chuck it all in. So tonight we're making a veggie lasagna in the slow cooker. You don't actually have to brown anything. You pretty much blend up all the ingredients, layer it all in the slow cooker, and it takes just three hours to make. So I'll show you what goes into it. We've got three courgettes, which I have chopped up. We've got a whole punnet of mushrooms. It was 250 grams. We've got um, one kg of passata with basil. We've got some walnuts, we need 150 grams of that. And then we've obviously got, oh no, we've got some pesto, some garlic powder, some tomato puree. And then for the white sauce, we're literally just using ricotta cheese, which is nice and easy. And then of course we've got lasagna sheets 
and grated mozzarella like for the layers and on top as well so i'm hoping it all fits into this this is the biggest food processor that i have but you pretty much put most of the ingredients in this blend it up just for a short amount of time so it's like a nice you don't want it to be like too pureed um just blend it quickly and then layer it all in the slow cooker so i'm excited for this one because sometimes we struggle to find good veggie options for the slow cooker so and this is like really my kind of food like i love lasagna so let's see if i can fit it all in okay so in the end i did actually have to do this in two halves because i couldn't fit everything into the food processor but anyway in goes the mushrooms the courgette the tomato sauce the tomato puree the walnuts as well which is a really nice part of it that kind of gives it a little bit of crunch then you also add the garlic seasoning some green pesto and then some oregano or oregano however you say it and then you kind of quickly blend it i felt like i blended it a little bit too much i think i would actually prefer it like maybe with a little bit more chunk to it but i suppose this is good for kids like they won't kind of sense all the veggies that are actually in this but then you just layer it in your slow cooker so you want to put a little bit of the sauce on the bottom just to make sure that that pasta will cook okay then you put the pasta like the lasagna sheets on then layer it with ricotta and a, a little bit of mozzarella and that is pretty much it then you just carry on layering up i think i ended up doing four layers in total so yep more sauce more lasagna ricotta and then mozzarella another really good option um, if you didn't want to do ricotta cheese is cottage cheese that works really nicely as like a white sauce in lasagna and i find it so much better than like the how do you say it bechamel sauce because that can be quite heavy so sometimes it's quite nice that it's a little bit light so yeah once you've layered it all up that is pretty much it and then you can actually cook this on low for five to six hours or I'm actually cooking it on high for three hours. Then it should look like this. It doesn't have like that kind of browned crispy top on it, obviously, because it is in the slow cooker, but it is all cooked. The pasta is nice and soft and we served it with some salad and then also some garlic bread, which we actually made in our air fryer. We're getting quite resourceful, like not having an oven. It actually cooked fine in the air fryer and that is pretty much it. And the last recipe that I wanted to share with you guys is slow cooker South Indian curry. This is so delicious. There's loads of flavor in it because of all the spices, which you'll see in a sec. And curry is my youngest son's favorite food. He'd have it every night if he could. And he also loves rice as well. And on the night that we had this, my husband, Matt, actually put it all into the slow cooker. So I'll be sure to link this recipe in the description down below if you want to try it out. It was really delicious. Um, but first off, he's just going to finely chop up an onion and then also chop up about 300 grams of ripe tomatoes and then you basically put a little bit of olive oil the onion the tomatoes and all the spices into the slow cooker so in this dish there are cloves garam masala turmeric paprika chili powder a cinnamon stick cardamom pods and even dried curry leaves so a ton of spice going in um, with the tomatoes and the onions and all the chicken which has been diced up and then you leave that on high obviously give it a good mix around uh, but you put it on high for about three and a half hours and then after three and a half hours the chicken is all cooked and then you add in some coconut milk to the mixture so you can see it's all cooked down there's a bit of a sauce now you add in about 100 ml of coconut milk and then you leave that to cook for another half an hour on high and tonight to make our lives easy we're actually using microwavable rice and we're also going to serve it with chapatis so we kind of like toasted them a bit I think just in a frying pan and served it like this with coriander on top and a little bit of lime and it was a really delicious dinner that the whole family liked right so that is it for this video i really hope you enjoyed it let me know in the comments below which recipe was your favorite and what is your favorite thing to make in the slow cooker because i also definitely need ideas for the next few months but anyway thanks again and i'll see you in my next one bye guys